Hey, Liz. Hey, Andy. How are you? Good. Nice tie. Oh, thanks. It's kind of spacey. That's awesome. So what are you working on? I am assembling a Banebot Sport Gearbox for the robot that we're building. Oh, neat. Neat. I see we have a couple different ratios here. Yeah. Um, we're actually offering and expanding the ratios that we offer this year. Everything from 4 to 1 all the way up to 100 to 1. Okay, okay. Uh, right now I'm working on a 12 to 1 sport uh, gearbox. Now did you, did you grease that yet? No. no, I'm working on that right now. Okay, okay. Yep. So um, when, the teams, when the teams get these gearboxes, yeah. tell me what they, how they go through the process of assembling them and getting the, their caps ready and that kind of stuff. So this year since we're expanding our offerings, we have uh, each gearbox ships with a plastic cap that you can remove, make sure that you grease your gearbox prior to use, and then you can um, add your back plate on in order to mount whatever motor that you, you want to it. Um, I'm gonna be using the two motor sport gearbox uh, to mount two 775 Redline motors for okay. this robot. So last year we had the 57 Sport and the sim sport and you're saying that the this this thing here is going to get us two motors into the gearbox that's right this is a new product that we're offering okay it allows you to connect two 775 red line motors directly to the main bike gearbox um, but you can also still mount your sim motor or your 57 uh, 550 or 775 motor directly to this gearbox using these other back plates cool cool okay so Tell me more about this, this two-motor gearbox. I'm intrigued. Yeah, so the two-motor gearbox, besides mounting directly to the Sport, it also has an option for a 3 8 output shaft or a 8 millimeter output shaft that's same as a SIM, so okay. emulates a SIM. And are those shafts easy to swap in and out? Yeah, they slide right into the output of this gearbox plate and uses a snap ring to retain it in place so it doesn't fall out of the gearbox. Uh, yeah, snap rings are effective but they're kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. What what do you like to use? How do you like to install them? I like practicing a lot <laughs> yeah. with these um, but I have a nice pair of snap ring pliers that I use to uh, open the ring, put it onto the shaft and then make sure it's secure into place. Just Not yeah, like it, that. It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't stand because the snap ring wasn't That's there, right. obviously. <laughs> So I, I've noticed a lot of teams are using snap rings to hold their axles on some of their custom designs. So I think snap rings are becoming more of a common thing in FRC. I, I, I hope so. Yeah, some uh, cantilever shafts hold, yeah. hold that into place. Um, so definitely a pair of snap ring pliers might be useful for your team, especially if you're using some of these main back gearboxes on your robot. Yep, yep. So the motors, uh, I, I know we got some new things about the motors, you can tell me. So what, what's up with those? That's right. So this is our Redline Andy Mark 775A version. Uh, this is a motor that's 10% faster than our previous version and therefore has, has a higher wattage as well. A, as in like Canadian A or mm, A, the like, letter A? More like the letter A. Andy. The letter A, okay. Okay, okay, A? Okay, A. Okay, yeah, so I can see on here, it's kind of hard to see with my old eyes, but um, there is a 775A at the end of this 775 part on here, so that tells me this is 10% faster. That's right, so you may want to be careful when you're using these motors with the older version, um, and just making sure that you know which version you're using on your robot. Yeah, I can see that. Might have to... Some teams might want to change their ratio depending on what motor they're using. Even, even though a 10% change isn't a lot, it might be enough to go to the next stage of ratio. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, cool. Uh, we also have the Bainbot 550 motor. Now this is a motor that's been on the Bainbot website for quite some time, but this is the first time that we're offering it here at AndyMark. Nice, yeah, I, we, we worked hard to get this motor available here at AndyMark. I, um, one of the things I've heard about, there's two things I know that people like about this motor. The shaft is more consistent in its diameter. It's a little bit shorter, but the diameter is pretty consistent and it's not knurled as the old 9015 motor that we have, that we had. And then also that has this has more power. So with more power comes more responsibility, I think, right? I think that's right, And yeah. um, you have to, you have to, uh, 
Um, I think this thing uh, has about 200 watts of power, whereas the other one, the 9015 motor, comparably is about 150. Oh, okay. So with more power, you have to make sure you're not stalling it and that kind of stuff. But I know a lot of teams are using this type of motor from Mainbots, and I'm glad that we can have We have it now, and we, and we sell it out publicly. Mm -hmm. And these work directly into the 57 Sport version of main yeah. back gearboxes as well. I think there's a lot of people that used the 57 Sports last year for 775s, mm -hmm. and they didn't really know that the 5 in 57 meant yeah. 550. So yeah. I, I think that most of the uses were 775s, yeah. but you can see the little Yeah, the dual-purpose mounting plate mounts to both of the Whole yeah. patterns and both types of motors. Cool. Nice Allen wrench set you have there, Liz. Oh, thanks. Danny gave this to me. He is in the warehouse right now working on some tool inventory. Cool. All those new tools came in for the team. I'll go check it out with Danny. Awesome. Thank you. See you later. Alligator. Bye.